from my wife now, being that she's Korean, uh, we're going to Seoul. For the band. No, for she's all about the Korean culture. She's learning the Korean language. She's watching Korean soap operas. Her favorite band is BTS. What do I do? You go to Korea. You go to Korea, Seoul. The people are nice. How about you? You might be the next Squid Games. We might need to go rescue you. <laughs> I think we've got to go to Italy first. Once this, once we can, we're going to go to Italy, and then maybe the next trip will be to Seoul. I mean, they're going to Macau. Or, Ooh, to or Tokyo. Cow. I, I've always wanted to go to Tokyo. For my sushi. Love, of course. I heard uh, Korea is a fun place, though. A lot of people in this hand here. Plenty. And Dewey says, let's get after all this dead money. Play for it all. Squeezes for 320. I like the move. Don't see... Anybody calling this really? Maybe Jake, but he still has so many people to act behind him that it's going to be tough for him to make this move. So Jake will be folding with his ducks, not going to go duck hunting. I don't think there's a lot of gamble yet in, in Tommy Lee or Jonesy. Whoa! My apologies. John says not today. Eight three ace three offsuit. Right to act. Right behind. Dapper Dewey says, let's gamble. What just happened? I'm not quite sure. Boy, for, that escalated quickly. For $320. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. John says, let's just gamble. Wow. Losing to all the ace kings. Oh, it wasn't. Queens. It's not ace. It's aces. Oh, okay. Big, <laughs> that mystery. makes a, a yeah. lot more sense. Yes. Oh, okay. Set, set. Yikes. Set over set. <laughs> Holy shnikes. Wow. Looking for a five ball for Dapper Dewey. So we got fooled there by the misread. Cards on their back. Let's Ooh. get naked. And a boat for both players. They run it once. And a scoop there wow. for John. It all makes sense now when he flips it, it, over aces. Yes. And the three of clubs. That doesn't happen very often. No. I'm sure the wizard will go out there and swap out a card. It happens occasionally. They'll be just be roaming. They'll, be, they'll go from table to table. You get to play with them. Already a ton of people on the list. I think over 70 already on the list. Who's coming to town to meet those fellas? Looks like we got a bo another bomb pot. It goes straight to the flop. Playing PLO. Must play two and only two from your hand. Ace, deuce, eight. Couple clubs. What do we have here? We have a set of deuces for Eddie. Off, no, Club I'm draw sorry. for four. I gave him five out of my stack. So Great to hear, Jasbo. Looking forward to seeing you once five. again, pal. Oh, yeah. Yes? Yeah. Well, I'll be at 1,500. You put five out of your pockets. You're right. Uh, I'll four at once. Four. Sorry, I got confused. Yeah, trying to go north on us. Can't Bets 100. Yeah. Well, I like the type on his flush <laughs> draw, his <laughs> jack high <laughs> flush draw. I'm trying to protect the integrity of the game, you know? It is the only flush draw. Eddie's going with it. Makes the call here. Not afraid of. Eights, aces, single board, bomb pot here, so you don't have to worry about two boards. Always makes things a little bit more interesting. Five of hearts. Set now for Fort, wow. along with his flush draw. That's the check mark there. What a turn card there for Fort. And I don't see uh, Eddie avoiding getting stacked here. I don't think he's going to get away once Fort increases this. Buck 70 or 275. Got Eddie in the chamber right here. You see the discomfort. What am I up against? A higher set, set versus set. PLO single board bomb pot. Eddie looking around the table. What will he do here? I think it's all going in. Set 
set of deuces. The wheel out there as well, always the sneaky wheel, so might mm -hmm. be a path no, you're right. I gave him to the folding count. here. That's why I was fucked up. I gave you the wrong count. I'm sorry. Losing to three, four, I'm aces, eights, and pocket fives. And your opponent has one of those holdings right now. Can he get away? I, I realized you were right as soon as it, yeah. I thought it through. <clears throat> Those things on the table are microphones, folks. Table mics. All in, and that's going to be a snap call. Right. Never want to see Ugh. the snap like that. That's bad news. Drawing dead. It's over. Lock it up. Pay him. Pay that man his money. How many times do you want to run it, Rick? There obviously 12? is no deuce in there, so he cannot. There it is. It's over. Set of fives beats a set of deuces. And all the money from Eddie's stack goes over to Fort Stack. Fort Stack. Yeah, I said we might have to expand on that name. Fort. Fort Stackville. We'll see how the night goes. I'm at 17 points. And the one seed, a little stun there, has not gotten up from the table. I haven't heard Damon call for checks yet. But I imagine he'll come back with another bullet. The birdie did tell me there was some rough air ahead, so the birdie never lies. Wes, all other tables except for the stream table have cup holders. Stream table does not. We don't want liquids anywhere near the electronic table, so that's why we put little tables behind the players so they can put their drinks on it. Don't want cup holders on the stream table. Once somebody spills something, we, the night could be over for us. Five hundred and seventy three in the live chat. We want to thank you all for joining us once again. And on to the next one. This one's back to hold them. Aaron looks down at Jack Knight suited. Where is the action? I think the action's on J Win. He's going to want to be the one to open it up here to 20. Now on the two. And Aaron's going to make some moves here, tossing some greens. So he's going to raise up the jack nine to 75. Jaywin going nowhere. I don't see him four betting this at the stack depth. Probably just going to flat the 75 and see how this goes. But action's first on Jonesy with the Gretzky's. He makes the call. Now we're back over in the nine seat. How will Jaywin elect to play it? Definitely can raise. Majority of players here probably flat. J1, an inexperienced player, usually plays a little bit larger, so when you're deeper, he's going for the raise. So here we go, applying pressure. That's likely going to shed Aaron, but Jonesy at this stack depth might elect to rip it. <laughs> Nina just pops her head in and says, hit the like. I love it. Shout out, shout out to Nina, the beautiful Nina toy there. Really excited to see somebody play and a rock paper scissors and that happens. Can settle on that? Is that going to be me and Aaron? I fucking hope so. Did they prove that? 375 and Aaron exits. Yeah, we're laughing at the stream we just rocked yesterday. Now it's decisions on Jonesy here. Probably worried about 10 plus. No, he's not worried about anything. He rips it. Jaywin's priced in now. He's going to make the call. He's going to be way, way, way behind. Nines versus ace, five suited. Playing for 1,600. Two spades. Pretty good flop for Jay Wynn. Oh now picks up the queen. Now Rob. another. So queen or a spade, 12 outs. Or an ace. Does not come. Nines will hold up. Jonesy's going to win a big one. 
Yosef uh, Lodge is very friendly. We've got players of all experience levels that are playing live poker right now out there on the felts. Some very experienced, some just learning the game. If you've played on the internet, which you've mentioned you have, you'll do just fine here at the Lodge. The internet? What's that? Online poker. Hmm. Why play online when you can play here at the Lodge? Exactly. You know what's really great when you're here at the Lodge and you're playing against male, female, alien, whatever, who's ever across the table and they have a computer or tablet and they're playing on multi-table, yes. like six, seven tables. The yes. action's on you, ma'am. Years, years ago, we actually bought, you know, we actually bought, when my son was really young, we bought a cotton candy machine. It actually worked pretty well. So you would just sit there on the couch and every night just fire Not it Not every night. <laughs> well, maybe maybe twice a year we'd break it out. Twice a year, don't lie to the people. Twice a month? You can't eat that much cotton candy. It is fun. Teeth would fall out. Kevin Merritt, this game has matched the stack format tonight, so you could buy into the largest stack, which currently is 2.3. So if you want to buy in for twenty three hundred, you're welcome to do so. Dapper Dewey here three bets the crabs. Jonesy was opening quite wide, and Jake will just flat here with the seven six action now on Fort, and he's gonna fire in a four bet here to a buck forty. What does he have here? We're quite. We're not gonna. Roll back the tape. Wizard getting the graphics correct. Because the four seed looks to have a monster. John going nowhere. Like to see Jake make this call too. And he does. So we're going to go three ways to this flop. Still not quite sure what the four seed is holding. But in a matter of moments, we'll find out. one gets all the chips in the middle to the flop we go eight deuce four a couple of hearts heart draw for jakey stein also a five for the straight so uh, jake's gonna go nowhere and ford's holding the chickadees a five car sure would be spicy giving john the set and jake the straight so a five unlikely though $200, and John's going to look him up here. Now Jake has an option. You can easily see him raise here. But he's going to play it safe and just put in the call. Jake could have gone there, something like 500 could have even ripped it. Let's see what the turn brings as a pot is building. There's a seven of spades. Pony, we'll, we'll give you the food options after this hand. We'll tell you what kind of food we have. We do have food here at the Lodge. Now what does Fort do after betting, getting called in two spots? He's not going to pump the brakes. He's going to fire in some more money, charge the heart draws, not worried about eights, deuces, or fours, even though quite possible that one of his opponents could have a set here. But Fort says YOLO. This is my first time on the stream, and I will not be afraid. Goes half pot 500, and now John, he has to exit after getting called. Doesn't want to, but I don't see John coming along here. After Jake calls, is Fort really going to be doing this into two op opponents? Unlikely, so good for John for heading for the hills. Action now on Jake. He's thinking about his choices here. At this stack depth, I don't really like flatting. I like the all-in, get it in, or fold it. But he's just going to flat. Wow. Plenty of outs here as Fort eyes his stack. A 7-5 heart. Heart does not come. And now what does Jake do after investing so much into this pot? Only has... About 450 behind, pot at 2K. You have to pair. 
you're beating the Broadway bluff cards. Yeah, but now you're in the blender in a tough spot. Fort's going to eye his stack. Imagine if Jake had an 8. He'd, he'd jam there. Jake in the big blind could have an 8. Check, and Fort. Jax will take it down. So the answer to the question of uh, some people have answered it. Thank you, Sharon. Uh, yeah, Taste uh, Makers is a um, caterer that is here every day, and they have one hot entree every day at least. Uh, Skull and I shared a grilled cheese sandwich tonight. They have other um, bigger entrees other than that. They have candy. They have all sorts of snacks. That's in the back corner. We do offer free soft drinks for everyone, many different flavors in the refrigerators for anybody to choose from and alcohol it's bring your own bring whatever you want drink responsibly have some fun what about a balloon section Anybody? veterans we'll find a way a good way to do it sometime in 2022 Fort with 4-5 suited. Always loved that little hand. No one ever sees it coming. Suited connectors. Clubs, but, clubs would be nice here. But I just saw, I thought I saw. Oh, Eddie. Aces for Eddie. Aces and tens. Here we go, folks. Nice hand here. Captain Mike, you need to say, uh, Buckle your seat belts. Yes, yes. This is your captain from the cockpit. Good luck, Colin. And it's very Sorry, bumpy man. ahead. Aaron says, good, Aaron says, good luck, all in, whoever it may be. And Eddie trapping the entire way. And poor, poor Eddie if his aces get cracked here. Ugh. John's going to lay it down. And Eddie's ripping Sandwich it. bet? No. Oh. All right. I'm fucking no sandwich bet. Because I would take tens. I have a pair. I am you can have the aces, but <laughs> I advise you really not to. So that could be a a bad move for you. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Damon, the tatted one, gives us a flop. Aces versus tens. Six, seven, eight. Picks up a nine ball now for a straight. Ooh, the clubs. The four or five of clubs would have got there. Nine or a ten on the river. Four, four, no, four. Yeah, I want four, four, four. for Aaron. I want a four. Actually, I want him to win. Ooh, and there that's is dirty. Oh, that's Eddie awesome. felt it one more to, time oh. for Eddie. Oh. Aaron. Aaron has life on the flop and gets there on the river. Oh. And I think that's gonna do it for Eddie's night. Doesn't want to leave. It's painful. When you have no more chips, and Aaron says, GG, good game, young man. Yeah, we're going to fill that seat shortly with some fresh blood, Rick. Eddie just bolted from his seat. For the next 10 minutes. Solve for Aaron. Yeah, for the next 10 minutes only, I will show you the exclusive way of how to get Give you a little overtime. I wanted to play rock, paper, scissors on the stream. Cutoff time's 10.30. Everybody knows that. It's a 10.30 cutoff. We have a large favorite filling the one seat. A female, small in stature, but big heart, huge heart, and big stacks. Stacks and stacks. And those are all the hints you need. I'm sure plenty of the chats will know the answer to that trivia question. Seat one will be filled shortly. She's looking sharp tonight. <laughs> Thank you, ATX Dave. We appreciate you. Skull Mike's puppy Bailey is in the chat now. Skull Mike's puppy Bailey returns. Have not seen my sweet, sweet Bailey in the chat. Aaron gave Eddie a hysterectomy. That's, that's funny. Sharon Barth just guesses it right on the nose. Cindy, who stacks her chips so she could barely see over them. She's going to be entering seat one any minute now. Seti McGetty for Fort. Flop, and Dapper. Flopped both. And Dapper open-ended here. Thinks this is the best time to gamble, but it's not the best time. 
I just like Because he has looks and he looks down. See, he's just like. He's runner, he's runner, just, Jack. And then he just Ugh. got lucky that I just wake up on <laughs> He's all in for 196. Not too much. Jake has a 10. He's not going anywhere. Oh, no. Fort here. Oh, no. How will Fort play this now? 196. Flops a boat. Fort eyeing up Jake's stack. Jake raises his hand. And what a position. All in, he says. Here. Dapper Dewey's already all in. It's over to Jake now. Jake and he calls. Jake makes the quick call there. Not giving Fort credit for a superior 10 ball. And Jake in a lot of trouble here. Fort, beginner's luck. Jake Clean shows house. the 10. Could be the Fort double knockout. Jake disappointed in that play. You can see the displeasure in his face, scratching the beard. That's not going to help. Dapper Dewey already going for the reload. His straight's no good. Open ender, even if it comes. Eight's full for Fort Stacks. In the Dapper Dewey seat. could go Jack Jack. It's not happening. We would hear the screams and the moans. It sounds pretty quiet. It's not happening. It's already. I'm going I'm to lock this one up for the four seat. I don't know, Jakey Stein. We'll pick Quadzilla? Up a, we'll, well, no, he'll pick up one a bunch time. of, he'll pick up more outs on the turn. Quadzilla? Let's see what Say happens. Say it's not. Say it isn't. So, we have a visitor in, in, in the bunker here, and he's telling us to watch this monitor. So, folks, do not get up from your screens right now. We could have some turbulence or perhaps an earthquake on table 11. Under the lights, here comes the turn. There's the ace. Clubs. So more outs now. Ace, 10, or deuce. There's the deuce! Jakey Stein comes from nowhere! Wow, gets the deuce. Doesn't if you, need the quads, picks up the deuce. If you weren't awake yet. The deuce of what? The deuce of diamonds! <laughs> Look, Jake Stein isn't even cracking a smile, but inside he's saying, My goodness, you didn't even think the two was coming. We just wrote off the deuce. You never even think about that deuce. We wanted to see quads. And Fort is going, what the hell just happened there? Looks a little shook as the big stack is now C3. Mr. Jakey Stein. And I know Cameron and Luke are happy about that one over there at the Stein Beach Club, the SBC, as they call it in Round Rock. <laughs> yeah, Gary C says, yabba dabba deuce. Very good, Gary C. Now our big winner on the night, 1.3. Jake Stein gets there. Gary C. always talks about being single. You know, Skull, I can't imagine why Gary C. is single. I just can't. Cindy with the Cowboys. That was for Gary. I'm not going to press the Cowboys button on the show out of respect to the Kia tonight. You, we'll yeah. just let that one sit. All right. Just kidding. How about them, Cowboys? Yeah! Look at this. Sydney sits down. First orbit, two or three hands. Boom. Cowboys. Jay Wynn with the pocket four is the sailboats. Will he get lucky? He's going to need to. And he does. My goodness, Sydney's sure going to hate my guts. Oh, my goodness. On a board like this, sit down and get coolered, reaching for chips. The towers are high, and Jay wins mind. Comp cool and collected here. How will he want to play this? I imagine just a flat of the 215 here. I needed a new car. Did you ever get a new car? No. Don't see him raising this, taking his time. And the 215 is just going to be flat called. Yeah. We're kind of, like, well, I went to a mechanic and it was originally like 
to a turn we go, and Cindy in a world of trouble. There's a five. Five gets there, so now a six will give somebody a straight, but it's a set Ooh, versus an over pair. I wonder if Cindy knows about the no chop zone. She does. I told her. All right. She looked a little confused when I told her. But she, <laughs> she knows. She's been told. Looking for a king. Do some diamonds and Jay win with the Seti Maggetti. Cindy's slowing down here. Good on her checks turn. And Majesty's going to check River. Action now on Jay win. He's going to go for some value. Probably go for about three to four hundred, maybe a little bit more, four twenty-five. Let's see what he comes with. Three hundred half pot, a milky bet. <laughs> One that I think Cindy's gonna have to call off and see the bad news. But Cindy, very wise. Four, four liner out there for a straight, any ace, and that's would make a wheel. Cindy's got to play him for an ace, probably ace something. I think she's gonna get away. Very wise from Jaywin, not putting Cindy on any ace here. Definitely an ace in her range, and that would shoot down Jay Wynn's set. But still, Sydney makes the call. Jay Wynn gets maximum value there for wow. that run out. Cindy comes over the top right there. Jay Wynn, that would have been interesting. Yeah. Sydney rips it there, all in. Spicy. Very, very spicy. But instead, she's down 635. I apologize, Sydney. Don't take it out on me. <laughs> Yo. Blame Damon. They let us pose in Super Dad. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I don't know the girl's name, but I'll be the girl who's going to fuck her. We have about 20 minutes for the cutoff time like of OT, folks. Let's go back, yeah, okay. take a peek where we are. One minute. 830 in the chat. Only 507 likes, folks, so we've got to get on our horse if we want bonus poker. 20 minutes left. 168 likes to go with 21 minutes to go. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on Monday Night Madness. We'll be back for Wednesday, in 40, about 45 hours from now. We'll have another stream, and then Saturday. And then buckle your seatbelts. A week from tonight, Brad Owen, Andrew Nimi, Doug Polk, all will be on the stream a week from Monday night. We anticipate it will be our largest stream ever. The overtime number may be rather large for that for that night. Yeah, Ford ran into Fort ran into he, he flopped a boat. There was nothing he was gonna do. Jake Stein flopped trips and rivered the boat, and that's how Fort lost a bunch of money there. King Jack, 10. Two pair for Jake. Fort, same two players. Fort flopped the straight. Oh, my goodness. Jakey Stein. Flopped Broadway for Fort, so these two tangoing again. It's time 40. Yeah, it's bets, pot. even with the board pair. Yeah, 10's going to save Jake some money. doesn't look like Jake's looking to raise. So this pot's still small for these strong of holdings. 200 in the middle. And there is the Oh, king. my goodness. He is on fire what right now. luck box indeed. It's the same hand, was it? No, no, it was 10 juice last time. It was yep. King Jack. Oh, my goodness. Just getting there on the river. Now any king or 10, and Fort knows that he's no good. He hates it. Smiling, giggling. Says, this guy again. He just gets there every time on me. Fort just flops the nuts and loses. Flops the nut both times. Flops the boat. No good. Flops Broadway. No good. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Shows it to him. Jake says, that's no good. Get that weak sauce out of there. Shows the kid. King's full. And Jake is heating up. Paying for that new pool. Putting some money in the college fund. One hand at a time. What a needle there from Jake. Yes. If I check there, am I going to make some more money? What a sick needle, Jake. 
don't don't ask players that <laughs> moving forward. When you play this back tomorrow in your office, don't ask players that. Aridian, thank you for joining us. I probably butchered your name. It says, greetings from Lithuanian beginner poker player who resides in Malta and is building his bankroll in Barca in order to get to you ASAP. Well, that's a lot of, that's a lot of geography. Yes. And welcome to the stream. You had me at Lithuanian. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to get to Lithuania, too. No, that's that's, that's LA. Get that ancestry that's North. That's that's A lot of my roots go back to Lithuania. Rick. Yeah, I think mine does too. My my grandfather, one of my grandfathers. That's why we get along. I just remember going like you hear about San Diego. Tommy Lee with a superior queen to Fort's Queen Nine of Spades. Any defense from Fort? No. Fort's a little shook, a little wobbly, taking a couple of shots to the body. Towel man trying to help him there in the corner says, "Get back out there, kid. This like fight is still yours." He's like like Apollo Creed in Rocky Two. He's hitting the canvas left and right here. Rivers are brutal for him. Take a look at the lodge camp slicks room up here in the front half. Live stream back to Skull's dungeon. The top comment was like, "Oh, it's because I think it was a man." I might want that. No, I believe it. Cindy in seat one wakes up with jacks. Been here for less than an orbit, have had kings, now jacks. Maybe she can win with this one. Rocking her Long Beach, California hat on. Maybe her and Tian went on a little, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, wow. Sydney's gonna think this is table 11 rigged under the lights as Fort wakes up with the Cowboys. And look at Jake with the blockers to both sets. King Jack, he'll probably just flop Broadway or clubs. How hot he's running in. We have a hand here brewing. Look at this. <laughs> <Between these three. laughs> Poor Fort. I'm just dying for Fort right now because you know he's going to flop a king and somehow lose. One outer king is what you're calling for? <sighs> I, just, oh I just feel it's I coming. 90 is called from Cindy over to Jake. Who's on fire? Cindy's been not going to talk to me for about three weeks after I take her to the table and she gets going to run from you when it, when you come up and tap her on her shoulder. Here we go. Here's the flop. Oh, Ten four six. I think there's there's not a path to being felt in here. After four C bets, probably to about one fifty. We'll see how Cindy elects to play it. I go one twenty five to one fifty here. I don't think he's going to go too big, but he's reaching for a Bunch of green chips here. Goes for 150. I'm like 10, 10, 12 minutes from the border. Yeah. Now, how does Cindy want to play this here? Is she going to rip it all in? It's either going to be an all in or a flat from her. How is she going to do this? She likes to overbet sometimes and play for it all. All in or a flat. If your team Cindy, you're hoping for. A flat, and perhaps you can get lucky on later streets. Great flop for Jax. She's not folding. She makes the call, treading lightly and still in a world of hurt. Jake gets out of the way. Not even Jake could get, only win this hand. One outer left for Sydney as Jake folds one of Cindy's. Oh, there's oh the Jack! God. One outer, City, USA, population two, and Fort now on a seesaw tonight. Up, down, up, down. Oh, my and God. Now you got to send out an SOS if you are in Fort's family. This poor soul getting crushed. Oh. $400. Sydney Dang. just nodding her head says, I got you now, kid. Double checks the cards. It's still two jacks. A hey, one outer on the turn. Wow. And now we are on a path to a double up, says Mikey, I love you. Thank you for calling me to this game, Table 11. Under the lights. And we and are heating up. Fort. Right. Cindy goes all in, and Fort is the Alamo right now. Ask getting overrun. Ask for a count, but he's calling. He's never folding. And he's going to need a one-outer, as Jakey Stein had one of the kings as well. If there's a king 
on this river. Oh. I'm going home. You're going to do the show for the rest of the night. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to excuse myself if we go one outer, one outer, turn and river. No way, no how. He makes the call. King of Spades is the only thing that can save Fort. Shows the jacks. Jakey Stein the sitting there like, I had King Jack. No way. King of Spades. No, the Ace of Diamonds. And Cindy is going to double up. Wow. And what did he say to Ford? I mean, every single time he's got the hand and it just cannot. Yeah, you can't fault Ford for the way he's playing. That's just somehow how the deck falls. But the man's played well tonight. There's no, there's no way you can escape these runouts. And props to him. He's got a good sport. Says Jeez. nice hand. He's handling it well. Oh. He's been there before. He's not complaining, whining, berating the other players at the table. Still has a smile on his face. So good on Fort for taking it very well. As he's now down 1.5, throwing the party. <laughs> Fat Boy Fish Guy says, it's not Fortnite. I like that. Very good. We like witty comments. Folks, very close to 30,000 subscribers. Thank you, Brian. So if you're H. enjoying the content tonight, be sure to subscribe to the channel and get us there. Currently sitting at 29.6. Let's get to 30,000 by tomorrow so we can celebrate on the stream on Wednesday. Yeah, I want to hear my own despair. Excellent. Carlos says, time to just lock it up and go home. I, you, you know. You gotta be gun shy after all the hands he's been through. <laughs> Sharon, he is young. A young good very good poker player. Mike had said that before the stream even started. Said this guy is good. Pocket eights for J Win. Pocket jacks for Dapper Dewey. Another fireworks hand about to explode. Adidas, Adidas says, I would destroy this game. Well, come on to Round Rock. We'll get you on. Yeah, follow that scroll on the bottom of the screen. But we don't have the scroll going today. I have other hands in my ring. Got to just realize that? Where is that scroll? There it is. There it is. Oh Eight, six, Seven, three. Eights. Seti Maggetti. Oh, oh, Quadrophenia. <laughs> my goodness. That's insult to injury. Quad eights. Can an overpair hold once tonight? Not tonight. And Jaywin with Quadrophenia has Dapper Dewey rebuying. What is going on here? Table 11 is possessed. <laughs> Connor Atkins, the way overtime works, each night we set an overtime number. That's the number of likes we need on or before 1030. Just, just explain it to him. You just did? Hey, oh, just, you just literally just explained it for Connor. All right. Well, I just yeah, explained it to him know. again. I don't know if he's trolling or what. No. There is a wait list, Connor. Follow the instructions on the scroll. Damn, we're getting close. 14 away. Three minutes away. Ace Queen for Jake raises it on up to $25. <laughs> Wait for it, bro. Ace seven five, couple clubs. Another club, the nine of clubs. They're eight away. Flush, straight flush alert here for Dapper Dewey. Straight flush, bingo, bango, bongo. And Jakey Stein with an ace and the ace of clubs. So this hand is spicy. Club doesn't peel. That would have been Stack City. But still, Jake likely to pay off an incoming bet here from Dewey. It's coming. Jake goes for 100. Maybe a little Look bit of Dewey. a blocker type bet of 100. And Dewey's going to rip it all in. And what does Jake do now? Asking for a count, but pretty obvious here that he's up against a hand that hasn't beat. Wow. And 
if you like poker, continuing to smash that like button. I think we have already reached that overtime number, so good on you folks, but we have a hand here. Straight flush alert. Jake needs a count. Can he get away from ace-queen? <coughs> Scratching the side. Wow. Not that Jake much can, more. I think Jake can get away from this, but if a club came on the river... <laughs> No, that never, would have been disaster. Never getting away from that. I know you're stuck. He says, I know you're stuck. Perhaps you're chasing. I think he's, he's going to make this call, Rick. I'll block the nuts. He's talking himself into Locks it. Blocks the nuts. Does he block the nuts? Nope. <laughs> Puts him on two pair. Still has you beat, Jake. Show two pair. Like he oh. calls. Show the block. Show the straight flush. Oh, wow. Bingo. And Dewey, who's been losing tonight, wins a huge pot. And congratulations to all of chat with one minute, 35 seconds to go in regulation. We get there. Overtime. He shoots, he scores from the blue line. From the blue John? From the blue John line. From where? How about from the top of the circle? Give me the some top. Give me some slot. Top, give me some top shelf where Mama keeps the cookies. Thin mints, Oreos, Milano's. Shout out to Milano's. White and I is eating some Oreos. Shout out to Brian H. Sharon Barth eating some cookies as we speak. Leave a little milk for Santa. Brian's eating your, your wife's cookies there, Rick. You, how do you feel about that? Brian is eating my... <coughs> Ryan, uh-oh. Time travel poker, a little chocolate chip. For the time traveler. Nikki P is a little bit elevated right now. He could use some cookies. Shout out to Dapper Dewey for getting a straight flush on the stream tonight. Big time hand. Ace Ace 5 is the flop. Ice cream does not count. Queen of clubs on the turn. Now flush draw for J-Win, but two aces on board. King Jack in the lead. <laughs> Jasbo says, do edibles count? Of course. Remember when the Oreos just started adding more, all the different flavors just more and more of the center you know oh the double stuff yeah <laughs> triple stuff all of the frosting and fudge there in the middle just kept growing Can't growing wait for growing. <laughs> quadzilla yeah we've seen quads tonight we've seen a straight flush tonight. We've seen flop boats go down in flames. Brutal game of poker sometimes. And we've seen a couple seven deuce bluffs get through as that is in play tonight. Haven't seen a chop. Wanted this to get a chop under a thousand so we can go high card for the entire pot because this is indeed a no chop zone. But looks like we're going to have to wait for Wednesday for that one. <laughs> people, people are cracking me up with their cookie descriptions. 200 from Aaron, Jack High. Jaywin looking to put his hero cape on. Says, what do you have here? Is my king high good? Aaron saying, please, please fold. Jaywin gives him a stare. Jaywin really trying to snip this one out. It's good telling him he's good here, but it's just king high. Hot now at 530 bucks. Can Jay win pick this off? 
this would be an amazing, amazing call. Makes the call. Wow! <laughs> Next level. Oh. King high call. He sniffs it out. And Aaron is going. What the hell just yeah, happened? That's how you gain a little respect at the table for hero calls like that, especially when they're correct. Jay win. Beautiful poker right there. Beautiful. <laughs> Cumulative winnings. Jay went up 862. Fort throwing the party right now, down 1400. Everybody else seen right there. Jakey Stein up 700. Wesley are at about 3,000 miles on the Bronco. Not too much. Yes, Jasper, I was saying the same thing and looking in Aaron's eyes on that call. It was a WTF moment. Queen 7-4, Skittles. Aces for Jake. Goes check, check. Jake's going to have to start putting money in this pot now. Cindy's going to fold quickly, wasting no time. Jake wins a small one with the aces. Orange Fooley is just trying to get another great conversation started. I'd say let's let's yeah. <laughs> let's keep it just with that cookie. It's a cookie theme tonight. The cookie we'll, theme. We'll wait. We'll wait for another. He's reaching. He's reaching again to, for one of the great conversation starters. I told you I don't matter. Good try. I like it, Orange Fooley. Just keep trying. No, I, Wes, I think when you first buy a car, you, you go five or 7000 before you get your first oil change, if I'm not mistaken. I'll read the owner's manual. Thanks, though, for the comment. Let's not go down the oil change road now, please. Yeah. Just for all the lemon pledge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jack 7 Deuce. Top pair for Aaron, but he's a little bit shook after the J-Win hero call. <laughs> Snap call tilt, but he's got the best of it. Pair of sevens for Jake. And a diamond draw for John. So all three parties still interested. Snap check deuce of spades. Jack's still in the lead. Checks all the way around, and now it's a flush for John. Ace a good bluff card, so I imagine John's going to bet, and Aaron's going to call it. But Jake wants to get after it, believes now in his two pair aces and sevens. And that's going to get snap called, so a rough card there for Jake on the river. Seven deuce is a very playable hand. John is going to take down the pot with flush. And nobody winning millions. Poobah saying there was a monster turnout for the Big O tournament tonight. That's fantastic. You know, the lodge has just been crazy since we opened in September, the new place, and then just with all the news we've had lately it's just been crazy Cindy makes it 60 and now pocket queens for fort after Aaron flats the 60 as well with the K9 woof fort's going to put in a 3 bet here try and thin down the field makes it too even
Cindy Stapp folds. Good on her. Not going to call. Dominated. And Aaron. Looks like we've created a little bit of a steamer. After being shown that hero call from Jay Win, the gloves are off for Mr. McKinnis. He's getting after it here, and he flops open ended. The Fort's overpair and the way Fort's night's been going. You feel like the Jack is coming. 250. 250. Yeah. Poopa wasn't lying. 98 entries in the Big O tournament. We guarantee 2,000 in that tournament. Prize pool, 5,800. You think you shattered that guarantee? I do. A raise here from Aaron. And that's not going to get through Fort. Fort going nowhere. Might even come over the top and rip it, get it all in now. Fort very, very wet. Aaron could have plenty of draws, which is indeed he does have it. So Fort's decision here to flat or rip, and I think he's going to rip it. Does indeed rip. Banana chip in play. All in, and now Aaron's got himself. Oh, was it a rip or a call? Or just a call. My apologies. I thought I heard all in there, so. Ooh. And there's the there's six. There's the straight. What unbelievable. Aaron gets there and now Fort in Fort. Big Bay drawing to a chop. Well. Oh, Gross. my goodness. I one out for a chop. Aaron now checks trying to rep that maybe he's on clubs. Very, very sneaky hand from him. And rough night for Fort. The punching bag. Man. Of the evening. He checks. Good check. And there's ooh, the, there's the chop. Not, there's the chop, but it's over 1K. Pot's over 1K, so we're not going to have a no chop zone. But what a hand here. Does anybody. He, oh, maybe not. Chop. Oh, yeah. Aaron turning it into the board into a bluff. Going to rep a jack. Aaron going for it. For about 1,000, it says. Depending on how accurate the chip stack for it's not folding. We're gonna have a chop. Nine. Gross hand here. Okay. Nothing easy for the four seat tonight. He, he calls. Makes call. Chop it up. They're gonna chop it. Now, tonight we had a no chop zone. If the pot was under a thousand, what would have happened there is the dealer would have given them each a card. From the stub, whichever's higher would have taken the whole pot, but because the pot went over the $1,000 mark, that's how no chop zone would have worked. Take a look at our stats here. As we are into overtime, because you guys earned it. Otherwise, the stream would have been dead 20 minutes ago. But we're still here tonight on a Monday night staying late because of all 850 of you in the chat. Pocket 7's now for Tommy Lee. He's heating up late. <laughs> Civil says Tommy's got the Willie Nelson vibes. I don't know about Willie Nelson, but he's got some sort, something going on. Tommy Lee with Pocket 7's now. Maybe he's... His chance to heat up here. Aaron, three best to 225. Fort gets out of the way. Tommy Lee folds his pocket sevens. Jay Wynn and Aaron. Go heads up. Ace and Jay Wynn smashes the flop. Pair of aces. The irony is Rick's the one that says that. Aaron's going to put out a bet there of 150, and Jay Wynn's just thinking what he can do here. He's just going to call. We'll go to the turn. Trips now for Jay Wynn. It's over. Aaron just doesn't know it yet. 
or he may know it. He just, it's on him. I mean, usually an aggressive player, but Jay wouldn't remember. Jay wouldn't called him with a king high. And that's what An Aaron's thinking about right now. He says, can I get this through? And Aaron picking the wrong time because Jay Wynn not your hero baby right here on the turn. He's got the goods. And folding's 100% not in the cards for him here. The only question is, should I raise or let this man hang himself on the river? And with Aaron with 1.2 behind, I imagine... I don't mind either or the flat or a raise here from Jay Wynn. I like the flat because uh, he's in position. I like the flat too. But let's see how strong Jay Wynn thinks Aaron is. Perhaps he has the case ace. Maybe he has a hands like tens that might call the eight. I like leaning on the flat and seeing what Aaron does on the river. But looks like Jay Wynn elects to just call. Flat. Yep, I, thought he I like that. Yes. He's in position. Let, let Aaron try to fire one more time. Correct. Deuce of hearts. Blank of all blanks. Only road for Aaron to shut down there is with a king or a jack for some showdown value. He can still wave the white flag. Never, yeah. never hurts to wave the white flag, but once you get that double barrel and you have a pot-sized jam on the river, you usually go for it. And he rips it all in snap. So Quick call, and king high is going to lose to trips. <clears throat> Aaron falls for it, and Jay win. Has Aaron's number tonight. Wow. Jaywin. Played that hand very well. I love the way he played. I love the flat call on the turn. In position. Why not? You got one more betting round. He rips there. He lets Aaron off easy. And Aaron never puts that additional money into the pot. Exactly. But... J1 clicks the right button there, but sometimes you need to really think about it there on the turn. What does my opponent have? Do they have a piece of this? Are they on a draw? Will they call my jam on the turn? If you're not quite sure, if you think they're going to get away and you're going to let them off easy, flatting never a bad play there. And Aaron, an aggressive player, pulls the trigger, goes for it on the river with king high, and gets snapped off. I think that's going to do it for us. Uh, Skull Mike. Yeah. Another great episode. Your thoughts? Really happy that we made overtime. An exciting final, you know, 75, 80 minutes of the stream. And I'm telling you, folks, Wednesday and Saturday and all of next week, oh you're not going to want to miss it. So if you are not a subscriber, do so immediately. Tell your friends. You might even want to have a viewing watch party for next week. And this Wednesday, Doug Polk, King Kai, Salon Boy, etc. So come back and join us Wednesday night at 8 o'clock on this same channel, The Lodge Live. For the Wizard of Lodge, who punches all the buttons. For Skull Mike, my name is Slick Rick. We will see you in 45 hours on Poker Night at The Lodge.